again, so again, so again. What is all this we're talking about? Pyruvate. You'll hear these names when you're studying biochemistry, and you'll see the glucose. Glucose is six carbons, right? The first reaction that happens is it breaks it in half, two pyruvates. This is a powerful teaching tool because see the three carbons, a methyl group out here, double bonded oxygen, double bonded oxygen, single bonded oxygen, blah, 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 single bonded oxygen. This technically would have them both the same distance apart, but we'll leave the old traditional structure the way it is. It would be like this is the, the more correct way because it's ionized, the hydrogen's not on it, so these are both the same distance away. That double bond is shared between them. But for general introductory purposes, they draw all the electrons on this oxygen. So the point is, if you picture this now, his methyl tail, double bond, double bond, single bond, lots of electrons out here, right? So the pyruvate, you end up with two of these. What do we need to do in our body? We're trying to get energy, so we need to break these down. And how do we know what happens next? I mean, there, there's a whole citric acid cycle, the Calvin cycle, all these different things going on that are confusing. So what I like to do is take all those drawings that enzymes like Rabisco when you're building sugars or to follow what is actually happening in each step, make a little animal out of it. So here's the pyruvate tiger. Let's see what lactate. So see the lactic acid tiger? What do we call them there? Uh, Rudolph the red nose lactate. Now lactate, lactic acid, that's when that proton is coming gone. So when we're looking here, look here now. There used to be a double bond on the pyruvate tiger, right? So if we have this picture next to pyruvate, we see that the double bond on the head stayed the same, the methyl stayed the same, the OH, whether it's protonated or not, which down here is, this is a drawing I would draw as the chemist, okay? Double bonds stayed the same. There's the methyl gives them <laughs> a different face out there. Rudolph looks a little different here. So you can take it any which way you want it. But what I remember is that oxygen had a double bond on it, right? So that is where the first reaction from pyruvate to lactate happened there. And what happened? A double bond went to a single bond, so some electrons had to come. There's probably another hydrogen out here now, if you were going to draw this correctly. This has a double bond on the tail. So if you drew it backwards, you're still able to follow where the double bond is. But there's only one now. Remember, pyruvate had two. So this really, in my opinion, my expert opinion, makes it a lot easier to follow a chemical reaction when it's a cartoon. And I think I see no reason in the world why four-year-old kids, if you're coloring a coloring book of Smurfs that are totally make-believe, why can't the little kid be coloring a pyruvate tiger going to a lactate tiger? You could have something come up and, I don't know, bite his tail off or something. That would be a good one for methylations, huh? Whenever you have a, a demethyl, what do we call it when you're taking a methyl away? <laughs> Methylate, methylate, so the demethylate, I guess. So if you're taking a whole methate, methylate away like that, you could have some kind of centipede or something come up and chomp his head off. There's a lot of potential for fun with this chemistry art, as I call it. And there's no reason in the world the younger the kid, they can't learn it.